Moriarty awoke with a shock. What in the world was that noise? Her eyes eventually adjusted to the dark, and that's when she saw it. A wild predator had entered her house and settled down in the corner of a room, assessing her with curious eyes. Moriarty is a dedicated mother and resident of Bixby, Oklahoma. Along with her children, she also has a pet cat and schnauzer dog. So the family household is often anything but quiet. As the owner of both a cat and dog, she is therefore no stranger to animals. However, her encounter with an entirely different beast took her completely by surprise. And the fact that this took place in the dead of night didn't help matters. In September 2018, interview with CBS News, Moriarty described the experience. It was around 4 a.m. and a loud noise had disturbed her. At first, she couldn't identify the source, but soon, pieces of the puzzle fell into place. The disturbance wasn't from the children. They were asleep in their rooms. Neither was it Moriarty's husband, who was away on business. The sounds were an animal, so naturally she suspected her pets were involved. Mom Moriarty naturally assumed her cat and dog were causing the ruckus, and her first impression seemed to be correct when two shapes charged into the bedroom. They could have easily been the two pets, but what the sleepy mother saw next would simply add to the confusion. Her miniature schnauzer dog came running in the room seconds later, so what on earth was the other animal? She turned her attention to the creature that was now in the corner. Moriarty revealed her reaction to Oklahoma News in September 2018. And that's when I realized, holy crud, I've got a coyote stuck in my bedroom. Despite their small stature, coyotes are related to gray, red, and eastern wolves. In recent years, though, they've become more urbanized for several reasons. Coyotes are gifted at adapting to their hunting grounds, and urban groups of them are less frightened by humans. In addition, people feeding them, either on purpose or accidentally, also encourages their presence. Unfortunately, this is potentially dangerous for both humans and their pets. Livestock are common prey to coyotes, but they also target smaller animals like cats. They might even see dogs as potential prey, especially if the coyote is particularly bold. And while attacks on humans are rare, they are not unheard of. Coyotes aren't often capable of inflicting lethal injuries. Only two recorded human fatalities have occurred in the U.S. and Canada, Californian three-year-old Kelly Keene and 19-year-old Taylor Mitchell from Nova Scotia. There is some contention over whether some of these attacks were committed by coyotes. To be more accurate, coyotes sometimes interbreed with wolves, creating offspring known as Kai wolves. Genetic researchers believe it could be these animals, rather than purebred coyotes, that are the offenders. Regardless, it's always important to use caution around animals that could cause any human harm. In Moriarty's case, several issues beyond her own personal safety concerned her, and one was her pets, who were now sharing a house with a wild coyote. The other was her sleeping children, and these worries sparked panic. With this in mind, she picked up a nearby golf club as precaution. Moriarty told Koki she was worried as her poor kids were upstairs and I'm screaming. To add to the chaos, the pet schnauzer didn't take too kindly to the intruder, and to show its displeasure, the dog barked madly at the coyote. As for the coyote, it seemed quite timid. It made no move to escape or attack at all, instead of choosing to crouch quietly in the corner. Moriarty then shut the door and called the Bixby Police Department, who arrived shortly after to catch the animal. Moriarty then described how officers arrived, armed with animal catcher poles to remove the intruder. So, I had three policemen in my bedroom trying to get the coyote out, she told the Effingham Daily News. In an enclosed space, a successful catch was only a matter of time. The officers managed to get the catcher pole loops around the coyote's neck and gently evict it. Then they released the misplaced creature into the wild, where it belonged. The question is though, how did it get inside in the first place? Mom Moriarty believes she knows the answer. She didn't draw the deadbolt across her back door. He somehow just lunged at the door and it opened. She also added that she thinks the coyote chased the cat inside. Thankfully, the story has a happy ending. No animals were harmed and the coyote went back to its natural habitat. In this case, the poor creature seemed just as confused as Moriarty herself. But her experience is a good cautionary tale about making sure to keep your door shut at night. The Humane Society of the U.S. advises against encouraging urban coyotes. It suggests making loud noises to deter the animals or using non-harmful deterrents such as water guns on them. It also advises to keep pets indoors and to store garbage in wildlife-proof containers to prevent attracting the animals. Please share this with your friends and family.